Hey guys, today I'm making some garlic knots out of some fat head dough from scratch. We're going to top it off with a little bit of Parmesan and a side of marinara sauce. Okay, so these are our ingredients right here. What I'm going to do is two cups of almond flour. I have three cups of mozzarella, low moisture part skim. That's the best for this. And five tablespoons of cream cheese. Now, we're going to use a teaspoon of each garlic powder and onion powder and some baking powder. But first, I want to try to get this cheese going. So what I like to do, it's going to get a little messy here, but we're just going to kind of cube up this cream cheese a little bit. Now, making this dough, this fathead dough, is kind of tricky. But with practice, you can do this. It's not too bad. Now, let's see here. Now, because this is a lot of cheese, it's going to take a little bit of time. So I like to microwave in increments. So we just kind of throw that in there. Okay. It's pretty big, so I'm going to start f with a minute. I'm going to take care of that here. I bought these obviously from Amazon here, but these are nice mats instead of using parchment paper all the time. Now while that's going, I'm going to go ahead and do a teaspoon of garlic powder. And we're going to mix all this too. But. And a teaspoon of onion powder. And then finally, a teaspoon of baking powder. So let's take a look at this cheese. No, nowhere near where we want it to be. We're gonna need a fork. I'm gonna use a big fork for this. Just kind of smush this around. And we're gonna do another minute because there's so much in here. Now I forgot to grab my eggs, so we need to grab We need three eggs Two are gonna be for the batter one we're gonna use for a wash So we'll just put these eggs back It's been 30 seconds, we're just gonna check it. Yeah, that's looking that's looking pretty good. Now this may have to go back in. So we're just gonna leave that there for the moment. So don't really have a whisk right now, the way this is set. So we're gonna need to use another fork because we don't want this. I mean, I would sift it, but I don't have it. So right now we're just gonna kind of mix this in as best as we can. Doesn't even look like we can see over here, can we? Looks like my camera here. All 
Okay, so we mixed our tablespoon, table, <laughs> teaspoon of garlic powder, onion powder, and baking powder into our two cups of almond flour. Meanwhile, we've microwaved three cups of mozzarella cheese and five tablespoons of cream cheese. Now this is gonna get kinda hard, so that's okay though. So right now, now that this is done, we want to mix our flour in there. Oof. You know what, actually I have a clean silicone thing here. It's a little wet, but we'll just dry this off. And we can kind of start mixing this together. Now it's gonna, it's gonna get dry, but that's okay. We're just getting a quick mix, and then we're gonna put our egg in here. So we do two egg. Whoa, that egg just totally shattered. That's okay. Just try to start mixing this in. Again, if this cheese, I think, is going to get kind of, eh, so we're going to probably microwave this again. And that's all right. And you can use your hands too. I just like using the silicone because I can get like everything off the edges. It's not bad, but I think I'm going to microwave this again for another 30 seconds. So now that we're done with this dish, we use our last egg. We'll just crack in. And this one we're gonna whisk. I'm not going to do anything to it, but just whisk it. Perfect. Let's check on our dough. Now we can do either or with this. I mean, you can do anything really, but for pretzels, you can either make some bites or you can try to form a pretzel. All right, so this is gonna get kinda goopy here. And we wanna make sure that it's not too hot. So we're gonna we're gonna do this by hand. Okay, let's touch that. Ooh, that's goopy. Now depending on how you want to do this. That is goopy dough. Now this is kind of a pain. You can try to roll it, but you can see it's not, it doesn't really like to be rolled. 
even in your hand, it's going to get really goopy. But you can just take pieces of it. It's just really hard. Um, you know, you could roll it as well under another set of these or parchment paper. But for me, we're just going to make little pizza or uh, pretzel bites. Because it's really hard to form this stuff, honestly. And this is a lot of cheese. This is a lot of cheese. stuck to me I'm like really stuck <laughs> it's a little too much keeps getting like I'm all gooey but we're gonna heat that back up anyway in the meantime you want to go ahead and preheat your oven to about 325 just kind of add this guy to the pile and you want to keep them a little separated too because they are going to fluff up but this dough this it's not really you know the best it's not real it's not real flour so the consistency is weird like i said it, it's so hard to actually form this stuff and it does take some practice Got some stuff stuck to our bowl here. Woo! Yeah, it's got some heat to it. It's just so cheesy and hot. Probably should have let it cool a little, but that's the problem. You don't want it to cool too much, you know? Now, I was, like I said, I was going to try to make pretzels, but it's just so hard to, to form this stuff. We'll do, we'll do 15. Now, for me, I think I'm just going to end up making these little garlic, I don't, I mean, they're not, not really gonna be pretzels anymore, are they? Very cool. All right, so we made 15 decent sized ones. Our oven's preheated. I'm gonna try to chunk this guy in there and he's lacking a little. Cool, now that we're done with that, our oven's preheated. What I'm gonna like to do is, here, I'm just gonna grab our tray. Slide that right on top of there. Sweet. So I'm thinking, since we're mixing it up some, what do we have here? I know I have some Italian seasoning. 
and I probably should have grabbed it, but I didn't think this is how we were going to do it. All right, so just some Italian seasoning. A little goes a long way, but let's just kind of get some on top of these. All right. Now we're going to go ahead and do our egg wash. Perfect. So we're going to go ahead and throw these in the oven for 20-25 uh, minutes. We'll go ahead and check up on them. Alright, I just pulled these guys out of the oven. Woo -wee. They're looking good. So, I'm going to let this cool for a second. And I just heated up some of this Rouse marinara sauce. We're going to use that. Mmm. This is gonna be good. Probably should grab a spatula. My drawers, all sorts of crazy. You know what? We'll use this little rice scooper since we don't eat rice anymore. Oh, look at that. They just come right off. And there you have it. Now, obviously, we're not going to eat all of these. So we did make 15. But these are definitely tasty. You can actually cut these right in half, too, if you want little biscuits. But I'm just going to kind of snack on them. And there you have it. Garlic knots slash biscuits. If you'd like, we can even top it with just a little... You know what? We're going to put it in our hand. We're going to put it in our hand, and we're just going to kind of... Sprinkle some Parmesan. Oh! And then, you know what? Let's dust that marinara with a little Parmesan as well. All right, there you have it, guys. Got our garlic knots ready to go. Super. Mm. All right, I'm gonna try not to eat all of these. So, anyway, that's it for today, guys. Again, if you like the video, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell notification, and I'll see you guys in the next video.